Hello and welcome back to the Viking Conquest, Blood Eagle campaign. We continue our journey to the mythical circle, which we felt drawn to. Now look at that, Konikore, Godfrey, son of the Kingdom of Denmark, has been defeated. Well, they're still meddling with Alban, it seems. Well, there's some thieves that are actually running from us. No, I don't... Oh, damn it. There is a toll for passing through this land, payable to us, so if you don't mind, we just be collecting or do from purse. I'll give you nothing but cold steel scum. Damn it, I didn't want to deal with these guys. Oh, interestingly enough, we're fighting in the mythical circle. <laughs> Scout support, the bog lies before us. We must be wary. Stay on the path. A man fucks over his sleeve. What is the trees ahead? Evil looks here. Well, stay together, and I don't want to get involved actually in this combat. Actually, I don't. I have to have full herald for this endeavor. And we should really group everybody into one group. Let our companion take care of that business. Now we don't want to retreat. Actually, advance a little bit. Let them come to us. There may just be only two fellows or three, but I need to be careful. I need to be really, really careful. I need to help them because these guys are quite strong. Light Vikings. They mean business. Uh, we'll be taking care of them. Rescue some peasant woman. Well, we don't really need peasant woman. Take a first look at the loot. The CX. Throwing spears. So we probably want to have the helmet. It's actually better than ours. Mm, maybe take the CX and the spear and lift the rest of the group. Well, they're not that happy. Well, I don't care. I call the shots here. So there's some stuff for you. And 25 damage, 25 speed 59. Well, actually, you know what? I actually want to use it as Seax. Because it's faster. Less range, but it's faster. I can actually upgrade you. And maybe we want to give Aspawn the sword instead of that stick he has. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a challenge, so cross, cross your fingers. Now, on we go into this mystical circle. Your eyes distinguish a special place, which looks like it was raised by the ancients. Perhaps it is a good time to visit and enjoy the art of another time. Well, I don't care much about arts. But a mythical place, well, that always draws attention of certain folk. Let's see what this place holds for us in store. Perhaps booty, perhaps an early grave. Well, let's find out. And there is a strange fella looking in the darkness. The forest is suspicious indeed. Let's see what this is about. Wolf heart. The man flattering the floor with his fleet suddenly turns to you when you approach him. At first he seems surprised, quickly flashes a smile. Hey, hey, who are you and what are you doing in my hole? I'm Harald Hillotan, what are you doing here? Well, well, you're a funny man to poke your nose into other people's affairs. You know, I met a man like you once, a real goose. As an old god once said, I will answer all your questions if you solve but a single riddle of mine. And what happened to that man? The man had only to answer one question. Uh, or only one question to answer. Can you imagine a single question? But he failed and died before the divine. Now you must play this game. I'll ask you a riddle, and if you solve it, I'll answer all your questions. But if you fail, I'll take your soul. Well, well. 
But if I solve your riddle, but I do not like your answers, I'll take your soul. Actually, I didn't say you had a choice. There is only one option, so let's play. Listen, carefully for your life at stake. Yeah. And the riddle is, I cannot be seen, I cannot be felt. I cannot be heard, I cannot be smelt. I lie behind the stars and under the hills. And all holes, no matter how deep, I can always fill. I always come first, and I always follow after. I end on life, I kill all laughter. And the correct answer is darkness. You're smarter than you look. Yes, it is darkness. Now I will answer your questions. My pals and I are hiding treasure. Why? Because we are bandits and we stole it from a rich man. As you might have already guessed, this information is not too valuable for you to live with. So your life will end now anyway. Is that so? Today is a good day to die, is it not, is it? Well, for you, maybe. Oh, that's a lot of friends. Oh shit, I didn't see that. That was a mistake. I should have lowered that cover. Come on. There we go. Woo! That was a close fight. That was a close fight. The battle against the bandits was hard, but you have risen to victory, picking through the mains of the hole they were digging. We received a couple of stuff. Grotten item Dragonil and a scale Lorica. Now let's see that. Uh, it's actually a half decent sword, but only half decent. Oh, but the Lorica is very good. 46, 26, that's better than ours. Wow, okay. Didn't remember that there were that many of those guys in there. Now let's see. Helgi! Uh, we probably want to give you an armor upgrade. Otherwise, I would be really tempted to sell that. Let's see how much money we can fetch for that thing. Because after all, if we get a ship, if we get a ship, we are golden. No, we actually do have a weapon. Uh, don't shot you. Yes, you. You need a better weapon. Okay. Very good. Very good. And we actually have to level up. Yep, we already have two levels to go. We are gonna hold. Keep the points. Um, now we are going to head back all the way we came and head back to Dublin because that's what our goal. To reach this point, we acquired some decent gear, and now let's head back. We need to find someone who can fix our our wound. And the only fellow I know is in Dublin. So let's head there and we have to be careful with that because we try to avoid combat for a while now. Probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. May actually head for a fortress and rest there. Wait for some time till the morning. And head out in the dawn. And we can uh yeah, probably buy a couple more 
Oh, there's lots of thieves. Oh, some Viking. No, 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 no. Just in time. Ha ha! Screw you guys. I'm not going to fight you in my condition. Or maybe I am. That was a mistake. I went out too early. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And lucky for us, there is a lord. Yep, we are a little bit slow. Oh, there's a... The village of Balkranok seems to be flourishing in the fields and orchards are humming with activity. We filled sacks of grain and drying meat, testifying to the productivity of the village, cropland and pasture land. Remember that this village and the surrounding lands belong to male Flansina Maxeniel of the Wing of Mide. The village is infested by 50... Ah, uh, 25. 50 would be bad, but 25 footpads, the poverty is indifferent. We will attack the bandits! I should be able to care, take care of a couple of bandits, especially with the help of the villages. Everybody, follow me! Well, we actually recovered quite well so far. Nevertheless, we have to be careful with the light Vikings if we deal with these guys. And everybody take position probably about here. We have some skirmishers, yes. Skirmishers stay here, infantry stay there. Let's do it like that. And let them come to us. Who are you, a spearman? Okay, come here. Perfect. Well, we should be able to do quite a lot of damage to these guys. We keep ourselves a little bit reserved in the back. Wait for these fellows to come around the, the fence. Charging your companions. There's another group. The battle it was a bit messy. Doesn't matter. Oh, in the battle of warfare of a song, you and your man drive the bandits of the village, making it safe once more. The villagers have little left in the way of wealth after their ordeal, but they will offer you all you can find. I refuse, stating that you needed more than it, uh, more than these items, more than you do. So we actually uh, buy supplies. No, we don't have anything here. Let's actually head to the village center, probably, and ask the fellow if he wants, uh, maybe he wants us to give permission to recruit. Not that I really need Irishman, but you never know. Where is the village, Alan? There's a dog. Good dog. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the village elder is. Ah, forget it. I don't want to waste time searching for this fellow right now. Ah, there is Finian. We were actually tasked to go. And, oh, Dublin has fallen to the kingdom of Mide. We're supposed to meet uh, with the abbot of Finian. Now let's see what this fellow wanted to talk about. Us about. Oh, more of the troop is low. One freeholder has deserted the party. Well, that's a shame, but I don't care. Visit the abbot. What may I do for you? Um, I received your message. Why have you sent for me? So, you're Harald Hildertand. I do not know much about you and I'm not particularly interested to learn. However, my patron gave me a list and included your name. Here is 1,000 pennegas. Now listen, for my patron has a mission for you. Thank you for the money. I'm listening. You'll be surprised to know that my patron is a mighty man and yet he has chosen you. He watches you for his spies and inf um, for his... What? He watches you for his spies and informers. Ah, here we are. Right. He is entrusted. You have an important mission for which you will be generously rewarded. Speaking of reward, it's music to my ears. The will clears his throat and fixes his eye on yours. A dangerous man, a robber and murderer, the enemy of my patron, has taken refuge in the old land of the Picts. And is recruiting an army of outlaws. He plans to return to Eru and attack the good people that live here. 
My Patreon spies have found out that this man is recruiting warriors from the Mayith Hall in Squin. This man must be stopped. You will be paid 5,000 penningers to put an end to his life. Hmm. Hmm. 5,000 penningers? Sounds good, but I want more. And another 1,000 in advance for expenses. Money is not a problem. Take 1,000 penningers. Now we have a deal. Very well. I recommend that you travel with all haste to school and look for a man that we call the Snake is the meat in the meat hall. Return quickly once the problem is solved. Godspeed. You keep those 5,000 penningers handy, for I will return. Interesting. Usually I would not do mercenary work, but that is indeed a lot of money. And we already got 2,000, so well, this is exactly what we need to start off our enterprise. Let's see if we can buy some more supplies. Yes, there is wool. Always buy up the wool. And there are some thieves lurking in the shadows like I don't care. Let's head to Dublin instead. Because we need to get a, a wound fixed before it's a permanent damage. Because we will lose a, um, a guilty point, basically, if we do not fix it. Buy some more supplies. Honey? Well, maybe buy some honey. And we have 27,000 cash right now. That should be enough to buy a ship, as a matter of fact. Especially if we sell all the wool we have. So we definitely should um, head back to Dublin, see what we can do with all the other commodities we have. Probably even buy a ship there, depends. It depends if we can buy one there. And if not, we will head, simply head back to Denmark, Norway, doesn't really matter. And once we have a ship, we are in business. No, there's nothing I need from here. Never hurts to ask. And indeed, Dublin has fallen. That's interesting. So early in the game. Let's see if we can buy something in Dublin. North? No. Well, we have a ton of wool, so... Probably shouldn't buy more anyways. It's hard to sell it. Ah, oh, that would be a tempting target right now. <laughs> well, it's out of a league for now. Let's see, there's some spearmen in the meat hall. But I'm rather interested in strolling through the town. Uh, first and foremost, we need to seek out the medicus. There he is. Get our wound looked and dealt with. Ah, my lord, what did you see? I need you to tend to my heavy wounds. You have serious injuries. I will cure them, but I charge you 150 pounds from work. Here, here you are. I will show you my best, sir. Fetch a hot iron and pyres. Okay. Now we got that fixed up. Let's trade with the weaponsmith. We do have... Well, we could sell it for 1800. We keep that in mind. We don't have to sell it. We can, of course, we give it to a companion. Depending how close we are on buying a ship, that is. And I really like to... Ooh. 7690. You know what? Give me that shield. Okay, see the ships. <gasps> A snake uh, in a good condition for 18,700. Oh, yes. And it's called Segelhunder. Pine wood is a cheap quality, but the condition is good and the price is decent. It, it takes another 2,000 to repair it. Let's buy the ship. Are you sure you want to do this direction? Yes. And there we have a ship. Now we're going to repair it. And now we can trade with the locals. And we still have close to 4,000 left. We still have a mud of money left. 6,000. Um, we have our own ship. Perfect. Let's see the meat hall. And talk to the spearman. Hey, what do you want? We're drinking. Hey, you seem somebody strong and accustomed to our life. I'm interested in recruiting you. Me and eight mates will join you for 4,000. Sure. We are at your service, sir. Point us to the direction of those we need hurting, and we'll do a rest. Very good. Very good. Very good. We can now sail from the port as a proper Viking. We actually have a... Com uh, some man who will accompany us on our further journeys. I think this is the perfect time to make a cut. We see each other in the next episode of the Viking Conquest Blood Eagle campaign. See how we will fire <laughs> on the great sea. Find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching and goodbye.